What's up guys? <clears throat> Today we are going to learn how to tune the bass drum. And just before we get to do that, I'm just going to tell you about my sound. Oh no! Where'd it go? Oh yes! My fault. Okay. Um, my bass drum sound. It's very open. I don't stuff my bass drum. I just, I like it to be nice and meaty. Um, I like double ply heads as a batter head and a single ply as a resonant. Um, and that really, it plays a big deal on how my bass drum sounds. I use the Parasonic, yeah, the Parasonic bass drum where it has like the built-in uh, muffle system and it comes with an external damping system. So, if you really want that nice, thick, meaty bass drum, you got that bass drum, you really need a double ply bass drum head. I don't really care what you use, but just double ply. Um, on to the tuning. I think, if I remember where I put my keys. <laughs> right here. Alright. I'm gonna bore you guys, I'm gonna loosen it up for you. Alright, now we're gonna finger tight. And back. Now we got everything finger tight. And with the bass drum, I'm not usually going to start with the resonant side. I'm going to start with the batter side. And for the batter side, I um, really don't like to uh, tune my bass drum that high. I like to have like halfway between thuddy and tonal valley to it. Because some guys just like tone and just lose the thud. And I want the thud, but still want you know, a little tone. You get me, right? Yeah. So, to... To achieve this, we're pretty much going to do one solid rotation, and that's it. It's an A left bass drum, and that's all there is to it. Okay, that's good. And then on to the rezzo side. Now this side, um, pretty much what you got to finger tight, you got to press down. Look for your wrinkles, right? And then get rid of the wrinkle. And that's it. Because I want. Ooh. Excuse me, guys. Oof. Tacos. Alright. So, resonant side, it's pretty much like the reason for the resonant side is to hold your sustain and really pick. Yeah, just to hold your sustain. So, we want this one to have a low sustain. And so, just tune it just a little bit. Yeah. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just rambling, but do what I'm saying, and your bass drum will sound great. And that's pretty much it. Actually, you know what? I'm going to tighten up the batter a little bit more. It's a little too floppy for me. So, change that to a whole rotation and a little sulfur some flavor. You got that? So, one solid rotation and extra for some flavor. And, oh, yes. Beautiful. Dampening system. So, this is pretty much like midway point between thuddy and tonal value. And don't forget, I don't stuff it. And I use a clear bass drum head with an ebony resonant. And I do have some stickers. And those aren't there just to look pretty, guys. Those are there just to add some, you know, muffling. 
cut like type of deal because since I don't really stuff this thing, it can be a little too much to deal with, so gotta muffle it. And if that sounded like gibberish to you, I hope that helped you out. But yeah, that's how I tune my bass drum and that was today's tutorial guys. Peace.